hi welcome now i'm going to show you uh, how to use uh, count tips and array count tips and what is the difference <coughs> okay so why it is called count ifs uh, ifs uh, ifs because it has uh, multiple conditions okay so if uh, count ifs uh, the ifs is ifs part is uh, multiple ifs so it is ifs okay so the count if is going to count the records only when all the ifs are true okay so now uh, let's see the data what i have here is the product then the respective category and the sales okay each uh, product i also have a different category new or old and uh, the respective sales uh, similarly i have about uh, 277 transactions okay so now what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to for each product and uh, different combination of product and category i want uh, uh, how many transactions are here okay using a simple count ifs function then i will also show you how to work out the same thing in the array count ifs function so that you will understand the uh, difference between the array formula and the simple count ifs okay so now uh, you have uh, what we are going to do is i am going to count uh, the alice mutton and the category new how many the number okay so how to do that i'm going to use the simple count if now okay before that uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the product list uh, category list uh, here in this example i may not use the sales but um, this list uh, i'm going to keep on using so instead of giving the range uh, so every time the product list what i'm going to do i'm going to drag and drop the full list of the product uh, okay li like this similarly for category so for that instead of doing this one again and again i am going to define a name okay then i just call that name in the function that will be more understanding and easier okay so what i'm going to do i just uh, i have a set of names defined earlier i'm removing those names and uh, i just uh, going to give uh, new name for the list uh, first uh, the product list okay select the full list right click define name in the right click menu product okay list okay now i am going to do the same thing for the category define a name category list category category list okay this for the time being i'm not using the sales here uh, this is not uh, total sales i want the count of uh, records only okay similarly the count count of transactions only so count okay so i'm not going to use the sales here in this example so i'm not defining any name for the sales uh, record sales column okay now what i'm going to do i want the count of uh, the records which got uh, product is alice mutton and the category is uh, new in this case okay for this record uh, okay equal to count if ifs okay count ifs what i'm going to do i'm going to count the full set number of records how i'm going to count the criteria range what is the criteria range okay every criteria have two arguments uh, one is left hand side and the right hand side argument in other words uh, where to look for the criteria what is the criteria range where and what part what to look so where to look the alice mutton i'm going to uh, check it where to check it is in the product list which is nothing but actually product list we already defined the name for the first uh, uh, 
exam for the first time i'm entering this so i'm showing you the range uh, how to do it manually instead of uh, writing the name okay but anyway it is it is going to return with the name already i selected the range but it is coming up with the name product list okay where to look it in the product list what to look at the given value product alice mutton okay similarly second criteria where to look in the category list so i type it now category i already defined the full list is category list the name so you can see the check box here that uh, the, that says it is a predefined uh, uh, name okay the other names are you can see fx is a function sir uh, the, uh, the checked ones are the names defined by the user category list then uh, you have a criteria range criteria 2 criteria range 2 is this what is the actual criteria what to look uh, this value category new okay and uh, close it okay so uh, you close it okay i close the formula okay enter now you see alice mutton is 4 is it true okay alice mutton but uh, the category is new 1 2 3 and 4 okay this way you can use the count if function these these two criteria uh, first criteria is product list look for e2 value and uh, in the second criteria category list uh, look for f2 value if these two condition is and condition both of them are satisfied uh, then you come up uh, with the count okay similarly i'm going to do it for the next one the same now this time i am changing the criteria value which is e3 and f3 first time this and this e2 and f2 f2 okay now it is e3 and f3 okay so now i just uh, dragged uh, it automatically shifted okay uh, now it is uh, 4 and 9 check whether it is nine records for old four records four five six seven 8 and 9 9 uh, records okay so similarly you can do it for every single cell here okay and count if function come up with the number of records for each criteria these two conditions product must be alice mutton category is new is 4 similarly you have boston meat is uh, uh product and the category old is 8 number of transactions in this list is 8 so this way it brings the all the count now is it possible to simplify some more yes there comes the array count ifs function okay why it is uh, it can be simplified because this value here the criteria itself is the set of array you see e2 for the next uh, cell it is going to be e3 next uh, cell it is going to be e4 and so on so this itself is a array similarly for the first uh, cell it is f2 second cell it is f3 third cell it is f4 this also changes this is also array so what i can do i can replace this by the whole set of array of products and the whole set of array of uh, category and uh, get the same result by array formula okay so how to do that equal to count ifs 
okay I am going to give the count tips criteria range is what the same thing product list product list Wha where to look for product in the product list what to look for is the the whole range now it will become the range I am going to give as a range but uh, this array formula is uh, going to take one element at a time and do the count if okay so it is going to split the formula into a set of array of numbers uh, array of formulas then do, uh, return with the set of outputs uh, okay now this similarly it's like we have to look for the second condition category list what to look for the same set of category list category list you can see and uh, close the formula okay now you must be having the uh, question that how can we write the formula in one cell because it is going to return a output of cells because for this formula is going to be executed for every single element of these two criteria arrays okay first time it is uh, going to have uh, Alice Mutton and uh, category new and execute the formula like a simple count if formula count ifs formula similarly next take a second element second element and do the same if it is executing so many times it is going to return with uh, so many outputs uh, then we cannot uh, enter this formula in one single cell it is going to be a multi cell array formula if that is the case we must first uh, tell the excel i am going to write array formula the output is going to be in the set of cells okay then you go here the first cell is active there you write the formula some tips sorry count tips count tips now what you are going to do the criteria range one is uh, product list product list okay is the product list comma what is the product list criteria range so where to look for is product list what to look for I it itself is array now the full of uh, criteria okay product product criteria then similarly where to look for in the in the category list what to look for the category criteria list okay now close the bracket now wait you cannot simply enter it's uh, two ways you must follow for a multi cell array formula you want selecting the multi cells secondly you must enter with the control shift enter to telling the excel that you are entering a array formula so press control shift enter you can see it performs multiple of count tips in single uh, enter okay 
it is one time you are entering but it perform the array of formula count tips which is similar to individual formulas like this okay the value you can see here is same when you enter array formula it enclose the formula with the braces this braces tells you this is the array formula but in simple formula it starts with only equal to sign okay now see whether the sum is same sum of count is nothing but a number of total number of records 277 and is also 277 which is nothing but our total number of records 278 minus the header 1 okay so I hope uh, you understand the count ifs and count array count ifs using this example and uh, both of them are similar but uh, the array count ifs works uh, in single stroke you can do the count ifs into multiple times okay uh, thanks for watching my video and if you have any comments or suggestions please uh, state it in the comments box and also uh, please subscribe to my channel so that you can uh, watch a lot of uh, excel examples and uh, god bless you